I saw, this is what I saw. And it was so weird. I'm like, why am I seeing this? I saw, I saw JFK. I saw John F. Kennedy. I saw his face. It was so weird. It was so clear. And I saw his face. It was like at the right side. And then above his face, I saw a woman's face, right? And then after I saw that, I, oh, then, then he said, John, he said, JFK assassination, right? And then after he said that, I seen, I seen the twin towers, the two towers. I just seen the twin towers, right? And then after he showed me that, he said, what was hidden in the dark will now be exposed. What was hidden in the dark will now be exposed. What was hidden in the dark will now be exposed. Well, now uncensored versions have unexpectedly come out. And they claim that the CIA recruited two of the 9-11 hijackers before they flew planes into the World Trade Center, allegedly. These court filings say that the CIA used Saudi Arabia as a go-between in order to circumvent laws that bar the CIA from conducting spy operations on American soil, on Americans. Richard Gage is an architect in the Bay Area with more than 30 years of experience. He's also the founder and former CEO of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth, which has amassed more than 3,500 members over the years. For two decades, Richard and his wife Gail have been leading the charge for a deeper investigation into the destruction of all three World Trade Center skyscrapers 20 years ago. Richard joins us now. Richard Gage, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you being here. Thanks, Stu. Great to be with you again. So if I want somebody dead and I go contract a killer, does that make the killer immune for liability or prosecution because I used a go-between? <laughs> it's worse than that, Stu. Uh, the CIA is going to try to spin this to say, oh, no, we were just trying to infiltrate Al-Qaeda. But you see, the documents, which anybody can download, uh, right off the, uh, well, the, the RT Today, uh, Russia Today article by Levschitz, uh, it, it, you can download it. It's 20 pages. It's a it's the testimony of the lead investigator for the defense organization in the military commission and in it he has spent five years interviewing uh, FBI agents half a dozen of them 9-11 commission investigators a whole bunch of them uh, and their testimony is absolutely damning it not only shows the Saudi involvement uh, in the payment and uh, aiding of two of the hijackers, Al-Hazmi and Al-Midar. Uh, but uh, scooting this thing all along and hiding it from the FBI, the, the Alex Station secret uh, center for, that the CIA put together with FBI agents had tracked the the the, uh, the the travels of uh, of Al Hazmi and Al Midar to Kuala Lumpur to a secret meeting, which was videotaped, uh, and and then that was 18 months before 9/11, and then within weeks after that meeting, that was an Al Qaeda meeting, uh, they were allowed into the U.S. So the CIA knew they were at this meeting, they were allowed into the U.S. anyway. And they were then aided in finding apartment by an apartment by uh, Al Bayoumi, an a Saudi intelligence official. So the details of this are absolutely stunning because the FBI is going, we got to get this because these guys are now in in the U.S. We've got to get this to the FBI, and the CIA stopped them, and they stopped them for almost 18 months until the last minute in August, when the CIA finally said to the FBI, "Oh, we lost them. You've got to find them." So, so what did they do? They set up the FBI as the scapegoat uh, of intelligence failures uh, when they all along were facilitating this. You see, we know, Stu, that this is an inside operation by the fact that the uh, all three of these buildings, Building 7 and Building 1 and 2, came down in a controlled demolition. This is evidence that we've been putting out for 18 years now that you alluded to earlier. So since we have the 
ir irrefutable, overwhelming evidence of the explosive demolition of all three of these towers on our website, richardgage911.org. We, 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 the CIA cannot spin this as a, oh my God, uh, we were just, we weren't trying to facilitate this, we were trying to track them. No, the whole darn thing, Stu, is an inside operation, and it is plain to see this is just icing on the cake that's been given to us by RT, uh, the, the uh, author Levschitz, uh, and the, uh, uh, with, with this damning testimony from Canestraro, the five-year investigator at, the, uh, at Guantanamo. So your detractors are going to say, well, this is just Russian disinformation. To them, you say what? <laughs> this is an official court document from the Guantanamo Military Commission. Just so happens that RT is the only outlet that has the integrity and the testicular fortitude to actually broadcast it. Well, in the meantime, yes, BlackRock funded, it. Vanguard funded, Pfizer funded, Fox is going to completely ignore this. What is the motivation of the press to continue to cover this? Uh, you mean, why are they censoring it? Is yeah. that your question? <laughs> yep. Because uh, that's exactly what they are doing and will continue to do. And if it gets so bad uh, that the FBI, the CIA has to respond, uh, they're going to spin it. And it will well, we obvious. intend to make it really bad. Uh, but here's the thing. They can spin it and they can say that. They can say that they were trying to infiltrate, but they knew when they were here. So the CIA did, in fact, conduct operations on American soil because they knew when they were here. They were surveilling these people when they were here in the United States. Isn't that right? I mean, yeah, how am I losing right. track of this? That's the least of their crimes. Yeah, well, lay it out for us. What, what, what are the real serious crimes here? Well, J. Michael Springman, uh, who ran the visa department of in the Department of State at the consulate office in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, uh, was constantly refusing to allow these Saudis uh, into the U.S. for visas, and he was constantly being overridden by the CIA. And this was back uh, in the very late uh, 90s. Uh, he, 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 he knew, uh, excuse me, 88, 80, 89, 90, uh, he knew that the CIA was allowing people who were suspected of terrorist links into the United States for training and sent to Afghanistan uh, for fighting the, the Soviets. He was in the, at, at that era as well. So. Uh, this is a pattern that the CIA has had and apparently continued in the preparations for 9-11. Would Bush 43 have known about this? Uh, I don't know if they kept him in the dark or not. I think uh, I would if I were Cheney. Uh, keep keep that, uh, that mind in the dark. Yeah. Uh, so who has operational control at this time over the CIA? Who knew about this? Good question. Let's find out, Stu. Uh, you're, you're the investigative journalist. I'm an architect. I can prove that these buildings were brought down by explosive controlled demolition with high energy explosives and thermite. The evidence given to us by uh, the, the FEMA report early on uh, shows hot sulfur corrosion attack on the steel. Uh, liquid molten iron invading the grain boundaries of the steel in the World Trade Center uh, se uh, 1 and 2 and 7. So uh, this evidence uh, that we've gone over in previous versions, uh, episodes uh, with you uh, is, is absolutely damning and together with the icing on the cake uh, right here uh, is uh, we'll put the CIA away for a long time along with those who back them you asked who they are well who's who's censoring uh this incredible information well 95 percent of the mainstream media is owned by just five corporations who owns those the same people who run the in the corporations in the arms industry the oil industry the banking industry the insurance industry all of whom profited enormously from 9 11. this is a, a huge problem for all of us and yeah. of course what was their goal we have the patriot act the military commissions act the national defense authorization act of nine of 2012 and any of us today can be arrested for without a right to a lawyer a trial a jury we can be tortured we can even be assassinated
So we have huge problems in this country that remain for the last 20 years since the Patriot Act. When I say that we are living under a corporate government crime syndicate, a murderous regime, when I say that our government is the most corrupt government on the face of the planet,